This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. Don't keep any tension in hands after touching the key and don't force the uh, sound, play with your natural tone. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud on the notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight.
Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Now let's first play by sub-motifs, by those written in the score little slurs. And here we are going to come to the first note. I think I made a video in my past how to play small slurs, where I explained that imagine that you have a note before the note, the first note in the slur, and that you intonate from that note to the first note in the slur. Like here, for example. So you go, and then, so you're coming to the first note, not to the last note. And that's how you will reach actually the written scherzando because you will have those small little light uh, breaths while playing. Uh, so it's very helpful. Now it's time to play by motifs, including those sub motifs inside.
time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music. It's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing, always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. And I, when I start playing faster, I feel I'm not really secure in this turn. When it's going to the third out and here, like my fifth finger is not ready to prepare in the right time. So I'm going to intonate from C to A with musical speech. So I'm going to intonate the third down. Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. Let's try one more time.
already I have some problems, so I'm gonna intonate this interval with musical speech better, so 6 up to be more precise. But the point is that I should probably also intonate better the fifth that leads to my third finger because third finger also doesn't have um, enough time to prepare. So I sometimes miss and feels weak, unstable. Like 